Hello and welcome. This video is on finding the periodic daily return of an asset. The periodic daily return is the rate that the asset changes in price or value each day. The periodic daily return, or PDR, is different than the simple percentage that most people are used to using. It is the continuously compounded rate of change for one day. In finance, the periodic daily return is often used instead of the simple percent change because the periodic daily return is continuously compounded, which means that it is time consistent. This makes it more useful for things like price modeling, correlation calculations, and risk management. The periodic daily return is the continuously compounded rate of return for one day, so it is the periodic daily return. We could also follow the same steps using two monthly prices to get the periodic monthly return or any two time frames to get the periodic rate of return for that time period. The periodic daily return or PDR is the periodic rate of change of price for each trading day. It is calculated by taking the natural log of the closing price of an asset divided by the previous day's closing price. The periodic daily return or PDR is the natural log of today's closing price divided by yesterday's closing price. Let's break that down and prove it. Today's stock price equals yesterday's price multiplied by the exponential function e raised to some power. The power is the rate of change that the stock went up that day. What we want to do is find that r value for each day. To do this, we take the natural log of the daily closing price divided by the previous day's closing price. Today's stock price equals yesterday's stock price times the exponential function raised to r. If we divide both sides by yesterday's closing price, we get today's closing price divided by yesterday's closing price equals e raised to r. If we take the natural log of both sides, we get the natural log of today's price divided by yesterday's price equals the natural log of e raised to r. The natural log of e raised to r is just r. So we get the natural log of today's price divided by yesterday's price equals r. We can perform this calculation quite quickly on a calculator. Boot up the calculator that comes with the computer. Change the view setting to scientific. Divide today's closing price by yesterday's closing price, hit enter, and hit the natural log key. And there it is. The answer is a periodic daily return. However, for large sets of data, it is much easier to use Excel or Google Docs. Let's look at how to find the periodic daily return of an asset such as a stock step-by-step -step in Excel or Google Docs. I'll use SOV, the silver ETF, as an example. The first step is to get the daily closing prices for each day. For a stock or ETF, we can download the daily closing prices from Yahoo Finance. On the Yahoo Finance page, type in a stock or ETF ticker symbol and hit enter. For this example, I am entering SOV, the silver ETF. After the information for the stock or ETF loads, click on the link titled Historical Prices in the left-hand column. When the Historical Prices page loads, select the appropriate dates to cover the range that is needed. Common selections are one year's worth of data or all of the data over the life of the asset. Make sure that the daily time frame on the top of the page is selected. Now click on Get Prices. When the page loads, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and click on Download the Spreadsheet. Save the file and open it in Excel or Google Docs. The file opens to show the date, the opening price, the highest price, the lowest price, the closing price, the volume, and the adjusted closing price for each day. Delete all information except for the date and the adjusted closing price for each day. Here is SOV's adjusted closing price for each day. To find the periodic daily return, click on the cell to the right of the first adjusted closing price. Type in equals LN in the open parentheses symbol. 
click on the adjusted closing price, enter a slash for divide, click on the previous day's adjusted closing price, add the close parentheses symbol and hit enter. This gives you the periodic daily return for that day. Now click on the bottom right corner of the cell and drag down. This will cause Excel or Google Docs to calculate out all the periodic daily returns for all the previous days. It is sometimes useful to find the average of the periodic returns. We will use the average of the returns in future videos. To find the average of the periodic daily returns, enter into any empty cell equals average, open parentheses, then click on the top of the column to select the entire column. Add a close parentheses and hit enter. This gives you the average of the periodic daily returns. The periodic daily return is used in many parts of finance, and in future videos we will use it to calculate out the variance, the standard deviation, also known as historical volatility, the covariance, correlations, value at risk, and more. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.